Is ceramic coating your car actually worth it? What advantages does it have and are there any downsides? Well, this time on Road and Race, I'm going to find out by going through the process of ceramic coating my car, leaving it for three months, then testing to see if it's any good. In my last video, we fitted then tested stiffer anti-roll bars at the track. This week, I'll be trying my hand at something a bit different. Ceramic coating is claimed to be an alternative to waxing your car and is said to provide a strong glass-like protective layer on your paint. It's said to offer scratch resistance, corrosion resistance, UV resistance to stop your paint fading, give a deeper shine to your paintwork, and repel contaminants such as dirt, mud, and bird droppings. It should also last for up to two years. Sounds a bit too good to be true, doesn't it? So here's my plan to test these claims. I'm gonna ceramic coat half my car and wax the other half. Then use it as normal for about three months, leaving it to get as dirty as possible. And then I'll test it in the following four ways. One, does it keep my car cleaner? Two, does it make it easier to wash? Three, are there any other advantages I notice? And four, are there any disadvantages I notice? So first up, I have to prepare my car ready for the coating. Step one is to wash the car as normal with car soap. Then rinse. Step two is optional, but the ceramic coating is going to lock in any imperfections. So now's the time to get a clay bar and remove any rubber or tar marks. Step three is then to degrease the car. You can use everyday normal dish soap for this. Rinse with clean water and then dry the car. Step four is then to use a 15% dilution of isopropyl alcohol to ensure no grease or wax residue is left on the surface. Right, now the prep work is done, the ceramic coating can go on. Go panel by panel and apply the coating. Wait five minutes, then wipe it off. You could also coat glass and plastics too. As mentioned before, I'm not gonna ceramic coat the driver's door, side skirt and front wheel. Instead, I'll wax these so I can compare them in three months time. The ceramic coating needs time to cure, so try not to get the car wet for ideally up to four days. It's been three months now I'm using the car as normal and it's not been washed. So on to the first test. Has the ceramic coating kept the car cleaner? Here's the waxed door and skirt. And here's the ceramic coated one. Both look equally dirty to me. Here's the waxed wheel. And here's the ceramic coated one. Again, both look equally dirty. Here's some bird poo that I've left on the car for a few weeks. Will it wipe off with just a dry tissue? Well, to my surprise, yes. I thought we wedged on for good, but most of it came off fine. Just needs a bit of a damp tissue to get the last of it. On to number two. Did it make the car easier to wash? Again, the dirt on both the waxed and coated doors and skirts came off equally well. As for the wheels, the dirt and brake dust came off fairly easily on both, with the coated wheels being slightly easier, let's say 20% easier to clean than the waxed. Number three, were there any other advantages? Initially, the rear wiper arm was looking a bit pitted and dull, but straight after coating it, it looked perfect again. But after three months, did it stay looking as good? Well, here it is, 
and I'm pleased to say yes. I've used rain repellent fluids such as Rain-X in the past, but now we've ceramic coated the glass, there's no need. The rain just beads off the glass when it's raining, making clearing the water off easier for the wipers. Also, I've noticed things like dead bugs and dirt is easier to remove. And just like wax, you still get that lovely beading effect with water. It may not be obvious on camera, but after the coating, the paintwork really does have a deeper shine to it now. Here's a quick picture of a scratch in the paintwork before and after coating. As you can see, it's not got any worse. One thing that surprised me was that the car was actually easier to dry. Usually both drying towels would be quite wet after, but after the coating, I didn't really need to use the second one. I guess this is because the water runs off more easily now, so there's less to dry up. And lastly, number four, were there any disadvantages? Well, no, not that I can think of, apart from the cost maybe. It was £61 and that gave me enough to coat the car with about half left over. So if you compare that to a good quality wax, it probably seems quite reasonable. So to sum up then, I'm actually pretty impressed with the ceramic coating and I'll probably do it on my other cars. I was initially quite surprised that it doesn't keep the car cleaner than simply waxing it, but it's got these other advantages such as the way it makes the paint more glossy, the way it helps restore the black parts, the way that it clears the rain off the windshield when it's raining, all make it worthwhile. And it should last two years, which is longer than waxing. I guess we'll see about that. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description box if you want to check it out for yourself. Next time on Road and Race, we get low, real low, by fitting and testing lowering springs. Do they improve handling? or do they just make going over speed humps a nightmare?